Hi everybody, this is Dennis, and I'm going to be doing a full review of Knights. This is issue number one, Image Comics. Um, Wyatt Kennedy, Luigi Formisano are the creators of this book. If you guys are here from my quick flip, then that means you guys want to know a little bit more about this. So we're going to dig into it. I am going to read you this because I, I think this will help set the tone. Florida is owned by Spain. America consists of 31 states. Vampires, ghosts, and other supernatural creatures are common and benign. The internet is infantile and irrelevant. So you already know you're dealing with a, with a different set of a world. Things happen differently on this earth version, a uh, different timeline. We're not too sure. Um, <clears throat> But one of the things as we go through, we, we get introduced to our friend Vincent. So Vincent winds up uh, moving in with his uh, buddy Connor. And I'm Kim, that's Connor. So they are uh, wind up moving in. So it's interesting. This looks like a normal kind of a, a, a stay, right? You know, some friends getting together. They got a new roommate moving in. And what? Slow down. Is that? Is that vampire? That sure is. Yeah, we can see the vampire and she's just flying. Wow. Come on, almost there. So then um, we said, look, check that out. There's a fallen plane and they're kind of walking in. Oh, now it's all yours. What? Are you kidding? So anyway, um, as we kind of flip through, you know, she's a, pleats a delivery person, right? This is the vampire now. What? Seriously? You're paying for this? I said, I never said I was paying for it. Ah. So anyway, she kind of gets into it and she realized he knows she's a vampire and they don't care. So we, we can already see the tone has been uh, set for this. And, uh, but anyway, you can see she kind of gets even with, uh, uh, with people. Kind of fun. Uh, I do like her as a, uh, as a character. Um, Vending machines. So you get a little bit more time to look through this. And uh, there's a little bit of swearing in this, but it's not it's not too bad. So we like that. I'm ordering pizza. You guys got any preferences? Eggplant and pineapple. Freak, you got it. Yeah, eggplant and pineapple. Yeah, I'm kind of there with you. Um this guy's. This is just an interesting and kind of a fun read. Um, you can see he's singing, and she feeds me love and tenderness and macaroons, macaroons. So then they finally meet up. Oh, check that out. The vampire and her. Cool. Let's start over. I'm Gray. So Gray the vampire. Nice to meet you. I'm Vince. Whack. So anyway, they wind up becoming uh, friends, and uh, you know, what's that? Uh, I did want to go back and take a quick look at that, look at that blockbuster. Yeah, there's a bit of member berries. So again, you can see this world has progressed uh, a little bit differently. And she's there, and she's going to steal the lady's hat. It's kind of funny. So she doesn't have a lot of money, he doesn't have a lot of money, but they kind of become friends. We're home. Wait, she lives here? The vampire lives here? Grayson, did you get fired tonight? Because I had to pay full price for these, you tramp. Oh, trampire. Oh, nice. Ivory. So they kind of realize there's a little bit more to it. So that's kind of funny. Where are you? Five years later, and it's in different languages and stuff. Person's just walking out of the water. And look at that. Vince is getting all set for his job interview. And he goes in. Like I said, the, the dialogue in here, it, it went all right. Um, but, you know, he does got a temper. And you can see he's screaming, yelling. She sees him. Come to the crib, 7 p.m. Oh, no. Anyway, guys, I don't want to show you the whole thing. I'm just going to say when I'm done, I really like the dialogue in this. 
this isn't my normal kind of cup of tea, um, but I really enjoyed this. I think the artwork lends itself with the storytelling very well. Um, you know, the dialogue is just very believable. I really kind of, uh, I like it. I like it. Uh, I think you guys will too. So as, as we near the end here for you guys to take a look at it, leave your comments down below. Are you guys picking this one up? Are you familiar with it? I think it's a little more, yeah, $4.99. It's a thicker book. So, you know, you get some good bang for your uh, a buck on this one. Um, yeah, anyway, we can see them flying, kind of reminds me a little bit of like Lost Boys, you know, things like that. Um, but the story between these two in the relationship, you know, turning 17, it actually is really cool. Um, so I don't want to show you the ending and everything like that, because I kind of want you guys to go out and, and pick up your copy. But I think it's a good read. It's a fun read. Um, overall, I think it's very well put together. It's different. And if you guys are looking for something a little bit different in it, you know, I hope you got a peek into what this could be. This is probably, this may be up your alley to go put on your poll list. So like I said, smash that like and subscribe button. Leave your comments down below. I'm going to give this one a CGC rating of an 8.0. I think it's solid. I really want to see where this one goes. I want to see the relationship and, uh, you know, what becomes with them. So let me know your thoughts. And guys, uh, Cordrath is coming to an end. So you can go check out our Indiegogo page. Links down below. Um, tomorrow's our final night and we're closing down the project. So if you haven't backed it yet, go back it on then. And join us on Wednesdays. We do live streams. We bring on comic creators. We talk comics. You get to interact with us and the comic creators. So love to see you guys. Love to hear from you. And we will see you real soon.